Hi, I'm Mitchell Gann. Whether I'm in the UK, Australia, Canada, Costa Rica, Timbuktu, I listen to Winish. I listen to a Touchline Rant. That's ATR. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, first of all, for coming tonight. We are a Touchline Rant podcast. Oh, hello. There's nothing to see here, boys. Nothing. All right. <laughs> nothing to see there. Um, yeah, we are a Touchline Rant at a Touchline Rant, all of them social media places. Download a Touchline Rant podcast now. Thank you very much for coming. I don't know what he's done there. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get going, shall we? This is the Blender Coach, and you're listening to a Touchline Rants latest podcast. Back of the net. Question one is: Which West Brom player famously drove to QPR to speed up a deadline day transfer, which didn't end up happening? Which West Brom player famously drove to QPR to speed up a deadline day transfer, which didn't end up happening? <laughs> Has everyone got something down? Yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. Everyone happy for me to move to question two? Yeah. Yeah, right. Question two is, which Porn King West Ham owner, what did, sorry, what did Porn King West Ham owner David Gold mistakenly do when the club signed Pedro Obiang in 2015? That is Porn King and West Ham owner. <laughs> David Gold, what did he mistakenly do when the club signed Pedro Obiang in 2015? Is everyone happy for me to move on, or do you need a little bit more time? Doesn't keep up for me. For me, I'm to go back. Right. Question three. Which managing director twice sold her husband, Paul Pesky Salido, for a profit during summer transfer activity? Question four. Which player did Florentino Perez scowl at upon signing on loan from West Ham in 2009? Which player did Florentino Perez scowl at upon signing on loan from West Ham in 2009? Question five is, which bold Danish midfield warrior swapped Goodison Park for the Santiago Bernabeu in 2005? Can you pronounce Bernabeu? Yeah. How? Santiago. Which bold Danish midfield warrior swapped Goodison Park for the Santiago Bernabeu in 2005? Is that question five? Question, question five. five. We're on question six now. Chelsea hijacked the signing of which troll haired player from Spurs in the summer of 2013? Which troll haired player was hijacked? Troll. Huh? Emphasize troll. troll. Yeah, I did think that. I did think that. West Ham have made terrible signings. <laughs> Three terrible strikers, Benny McCarthy, Ilan, if I put a Welsh thing on that. He's not Welsh. Ilan, is it Ilan? Ilan. And Mido, signed in 2010. Which was the only one to score for the club? Benny McCarthy, Ilan, or Mido in 2010? Three strikers, <clears throat> one goal. All right, question eight. This is quite niche. Yeah. What purple object was thrust into the ear of Sky Sports reporter Alan Irwin outside Everton's training ground in 2010? What colour was the object? 
what purple object was thrust into the ear of Alan Irwin outside Everton's training ground? That was number eight. Moving on to number nine. What club did Zlatan sign for after being photographed in a passionate embrace with Gerard Piquet? What club did Zlatan sign for after being photographed in a passionate embrace from Gerard Piquet? That was number nine. Number 10, the final question of the round, number 10. Which player missed two flights from Southampton Airport to Manchester to confirm a transfer into Sven Goran Eriksson's revolution in 2008? It was a revolution. It was a revolution. Stop Which player it. missed Stop two it. flights from Southampton Airport to Manchester to confirm a transfer into Sven's revolution in 2008. That is number 10. And that is the final question of the second round. Does anyone need any of those questions again? Or are you all confident that you know all 10? Number three again. Question three, which managing director twice sold her husband, Paul Pesky Salido, for a profit during summer transfer activity? Question four. Question four was, which player did Florentino Perez scowl at upon signing on loan from West Ham in 2009? Scowl. Scowl. Any others? Any more for any more? You all confident no more? Right, send the right one. Uh, so we dedicate this evening to the finding of Daniel Sturridge's dog. Lucky. In honour. We're, so, we're very glad that he got found. Yeah, we're happy. We were checking like 20, 20 to 30 grand of that. Did anyone see that yesterday? Yeah, they found yeah. it this morning. But who's going to go, like, if you've taken that dog and you're there and it's like 20 to 30, who's going to say 20 grand? You'd say 30. Yeah, why did he say 20 to 30? No one is going to no go under the speed of 20. Even, I think, it, you go back when you just be like, I found it. I'd like say 25 then. 25? No, no one's saying that. No one's saying 30. Round three. Guys, everyone ready for round three or should we just... Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right, number one in the Euros. Which nation won the first European Championship? Which nation won the first European Championship? <laughs> Number two. Where was that first European Championship held? Where was the first one held? Number three. What nation replaced Yugoslavia in the 1992 finals after they were disqualified due to the outbreak of warfare in their country? Number four, which player scored the winning goal for Greece in the 2004 final? Both names. <laughs> no, I reckon you did so. <laughs> It's a difficult question. You could just guess. I, I got both. Yeah, I know. But we, we know a lot about it. <laughs> Number five. Who scored the first ever golden goal in the European Championships? Player. Go on. <laughs> 
Number six. Which balding failed football manager and BBC pundit was top scorer at Euro 96? Say the question again. Which bold failed football manager and yeah. BBC pundit yeah. was top scorer at Euro 96? Failed football manager. Number seven. He was a Who was the last player to score a hat trick at the European finals? The last player to score a hat trick at the European finals. The finals. finals. European finals. So that's who was the last player to score a hat trick at the European finals? At the tournament. At the tournament, yeah. Number eight. Euro 2020 will be held in a grand total of 12 countries, with three of those beginning with the letter R. <laughs> Name one of those countries. I'll say it again. <laughs> Euro 2020 will be held in a grand total of 12 countries, with three of those beginning with the letter R. Name one of those countries. Number nine. Number nine. Who joined Stuart Pearce and Gareth Southgate, Southgate in a Pizza Hut restaurant to have a good old cry after Euro 96? Who joined Stuart Pearce, Gareth Southgate in Pizza Hut to have a good old cry? Who's on an advert? This one. It's a pizza thing. Right. Number 10. Euro 1980 in Italy introduced the competition's first mascot. Name that mascot. Euro 1980. First mascot. We like mascots here. First one. And that is uh, round three done. Anyone want anything repeated after those ten the questions? Last <laughs> the last three? Well, yeah, nine and ten. Oh, nine and ten. Uh, nine. Who joined Stuart Pearce and Gareth Southgate in a Pizza Hut restaurant to have a good old cry after Euro '96? Number four. Number four. Which player scored the winning goal for Greece in the 2004 finals? Anyone, anything repeated? We all good? Number two? <laughs> Alright, the first... So the... Number two is... Where were the first European Championships held? What country were they? World Cup. So it will surprise you, all these questions are World Cup related. Question one. Bold sweetheart Fabian Bartes jointly holds the record for most clean sheets kept in World Cup history with 10. Can you name the player he holds the record with? Do you repeat the question? Bold sweetheart Fabian Bartes jointly holds the record for most clean sheets kept in World Cup history with 10. So in all the World Cups he's played in, he kept 10 clean sheets. He jointly holds the record with which player? Question two. Question two. In 2010, the French squad rebelled against then stern manager Ramon Domenech after he expelled a player who had told him to go fuck yourself, you son of a whore at half-time during their previous game. Who was the player that he expelled? Could you repeat what he said again? He said, go fuck yourself, you son of a whore. <laughs> That's <a> whore. <laughs> Question three. Where was the first ever World Cup held? Where 
Where was the first ever World Cup held? <laughs> Question number four. Question number four. Which team has both won and lost World Cup finals by three clear goals? Which team has both won and lost World Cup finals by three clear goals? Right. Question five. Which European team became the first side to win a final outside of Europe? Which European team became the first side to win a final outside of Europe? Hashtag remain. Question number six. Who is the only player to play in three consecutive World Cup final games? Well, the final, 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 final. Final. So he played in the, the finals of three World Cups in a row. No, the final game. The final. The final. Yes. The final. In a row. It's a good one, isn't it? I like that one. Who is the only player to play in three consecutive World Cup final games? So, the final game of the tournament, the World Cup final that everyone watches, he played in three of them in a row. Spanning 12 years for you mathematics. <laughs> Question 7. In March 1966, the Jules Rimet World Cup trophy was stolen, but it was later found by a dog. Name that dog. How do you know that? When we wrote this quiz, Paddy knew the answer to that one, and we looked at him and went, how do you know the answer to that? Around yours, up yours. Question number nine. Oh, hang on, this is a long one. Bloody hell. Right. In the quarterfinals of the 2006 FIFA World Cup, referee Horatio Elizondo sent off Wayne Rooney in the 62nd <coughs> minute. Following that incident, Alan Shearer remarked, I think there's every chance that Wayne Rooney will go back to training and stick one on him. Who was Alan Shearer telling Wayne Rooney to stick one on? Stick one on him. <laughs> Not up your yeah, bolt. That's the last one. <laughs> Question number 10. In what year was the first World Cup held? What year? What year was the first World Cup tournament held? Everyone loves Twitter. Come on. These are the best quotes. Right. <laughs> Question number one. Who said this? Uh, which Watford stopper said, so the missus is trying to get me to watch Magic Mike. She can do one. And if she wants a bit afterwards, she can also do one. That's doing one twice. Who <laughs> <laughs> said? That means my picture's out. <laughs> And that so is, the I'll say it again, <laughs> which Watford stopper <laughs> said, the missus is trying to get me to watch Magic Mike, she can do one. And if she wants a bit afterwards, she can do one. Question number two. <laughs> Question number two. Name the Spurs player who said, morning tweeps, yesterday I watched the Paranormal Activity 3 and today I'm going to put it in the bin. Too scary to watch. That's verbatim. <laughs> Morning tweets. Yesterday I watched the Paranormal Activity 3 and today I'm going to put it in the bin. Too scary to watch. 
Question number three. Which current Derby left back said, ha ha ha, well done at FA. I lied, did I? Hashtag bunch of twats. Ha 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 ha. Well done at FA. I lied, did I? Question mark. Hashtag bunch of twats. No, no, last time. Last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to put explicit on this one. Right, question number four. What crisp obsessed presenter said Soldado makes me realise I wasn't that shit? <laughs> Which crisp obsessed presenter said Soldado makes me realise I wasn't that shit? Question five. Who said, do I want to go to Hull City? No. Do I want to go to Stoke? No. Do I want to go to Sunderland? Yes. So fucking stop fucking around Levy. Who said that? There's too much swearing. Is there a lot of swearing this week? Do I want to go to Hull City? No. Do I want to go to Stoke? No. Do I want to go to Sunderland? Yes. So stop fucking around with Levy. Paddy's not sure and he's seen the answers. <laughs> Paddy has seen the answers yet he's sitting there going, I don't know that one. <laughs> right, number six. Number six. Which missile launching midfielder said happy birthday to the greatest entertainer of our time at Robbie Williams? Hashtag legend. Which missile launching midfielder said happy birthday to the greatest entertainer of our time at Robbie Williams? Hashtag legend. Always more of a Jason Orange fan myself. <laughs> You're Barlow. No, I'm not Barlow. Yeah, Barlow's a Tory. Tory, no. Right. Yeah. Number seven. Name the ex Fulham French striker to say, take a tomato and put sugar on it. Taste it if you never tried it. It tastes like strawberry. We still haven't tried it. <laughs> that is, take a tomato and put sugar on it. Taste it if you never tried. It tastes like strawberry. Who said that? Yeah. Number eight. Which former Canary said massive three points today. We were really solid. Solid. Great shift from all of us. Thanks for the support. Hashtag clean shit. Massive three points today. We were really solid. Great shift from all of us. Thanks for the support. Hashtag clean shit. Did you say ex canary? What did we say? Which former canary? Number nine. Number nine. Which Manchester United legend tweeted, I'll put you asleep within 10 seconds, you little girl. Don't say stuff and not follow up on it. I'll be waiting. Which Manchester United legend tweeted, I'll put you asleep within 10 seconds, you little girl. Don't say stuff and not follow up on it. I'll be waiting. Ominous, isn't it? Scary, if anything. I mean, it's not, but imagine if I was Duncan Ferguson. <laughs> Die. He wouldn't have needed to say that. I shit myself. Everyone's nervous. Right, number 10. Final question in the Twitter quotes. Which Spurs midfielder tweeted, Microsoft bought Skype for 8.5 billion. LOL, idiots. They could have downloaded it for free. Players on their holiday and pre-season antics. All right, so number one, Don Hutchison got in trouble with then Liverpool manager Roy Evans for being photographed on his summer holiday, placing a label from which known beer over his sensitive part. 
Don Hutchison got in trouble with Liverpool manager Roy Evans for being photographed on his summer holidays replacing a label of beer in front of his private part. Name that beer. What beer would that have been? Number two, question number two. Which Premier League footballer tweeted a photo of himself feeding giraffes with the caption, Summer for me is about time with the family? Who is it? Who is it? Who is that player? Ah, uh, okay. Who is it? What Premier League, what ex Premier League footballer yeah. tweeted a photo of himself feeding giraffes with the caption, Summer for me is about spending time with the holiday. With the family. Giraffes, that's the link. Number three, in 1996, four England players were pictured out drinking and taking part in the infamous dentist chair. Three players, Gascoigne, Sheringham, McManaman, name the fourth. Who is that fourth? So, 96, the infamous dentist chair, four players, three of them, Gascoigne, Sheringham, McManaman, name the fourth. <laughs> yeah. Name that player. Number four, Ika Casillas <laughs> took the place of which goalkeeper in Spain 2002 World Cup squad after he dropped a bottle of aftershave, ruining him out of the tournament. Ika Casillas took the place of which goalkeeper in Spain 2002 World Cup after he dropped a bottle of aftershave. Ruining him out of the tournament. Number five. Yeah. Number five. What were the three Leicester City players sacked after completing their 2015 pre-season tour of Thailand? What were the three Leicester City players sacked for? What act were they sacked for? 2015 pre-season to Thailand. I know what, yeah, what they got sacked for. Oh, what they got sacked for. Yeah, what they got sacked for. Okay. That's what it is. Alright, so that's what right. Which three best city players were sacked after completing their 250 pre season tour with Thailand? What were they sacked for? Next round. <laughs> Number six. Which then Sunderland midfielder was fined by the club after he was filmed saying some of his teammates were not trying hard enough because they didn't want to be at the club? Which then Sunderland midfielder was fined by the club as he was filmed saying some of his teammates were not trying hard enough because they didn't want to be there? Number seven, what was the song Sam Allardyce was filmed raving to whilst in Marbella? What song was Sam Allardyce filmed raving to whilst in Marbella? Or Marbs? Marbs. 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 No carbs before him. Sam didn't listen to that. All the carbs before Marbs. <laughs> Number eight. Which striker? Sorry. Which striker was offering girls twenty thousand pounds to lick his ass in Magaluf? He's on to something there. Twenty thousand. Which striker was offering girls twenty thousand pounds to lick his ass in Magaluf? Genius, really. By the cash. 
Number nine. Which firework-loving maverick turned up to pre-season training at Nice three stone heavier than the club asked him to be? <laughs> Number 10. Which injury prone ex Arsenal footballer was photographed smoking at a post World Cup pool party in Las Vegas? Which injury prone ex Arsenal footballer was photographed smoking at a post World Cup pool party in Vegas? <laughs> Do they want any more questions? Anybody want any recaps of any of those last two rounds? Paddy here is just explaining that if anyone would like to have any of those questions read out again, they can. Any questions need to be in the tone? That's Paddy again doing what I just explained he was doing. That's the end of this round. That's the end of the quiz. Oh, why if I can actually lost? What the hell? <laughs> hey, it's Mitchell Gad here, and if I'm not on ATR, I'm listening to ATR, so have a think about that. Right, yeah. <laughs> right, ready with the answers now, guys? We'll start with the, uh, the picture round. Yeah. Yeah, we'll <laughs> These guys are going to kill each other. <laughs> right. <laughs> number, number one on the pictures. Couldn't get him in a photo with any uh, granny prostitutes, so it was just some pigs. Wayne Rooney, number one. You've got two pigs. Number two. Super easy. Everyone should have got this one, number two. Anyone in the tour guess Sammy and Nazri? Come on, boys. Look at the other one his nose. I mean, uh, picture number three. If anyone had Virgin Man's out, you get half a point. No, you don't. No, you don't get half. Okay, so anybody get it? Mate, Wendy, you've got name as well. Yeah, the very handsome Wendy Renard. Number four. Number four on the picture round. Fellaini. Yes. Number five, the German Shepherd. Matthias Sammer. Number six. Anybody think they have number six? No. 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 We'll do it to the judges thing for that. Next. Number seven on the picture round. Anyone get that? He's got a hilarious name. Yes. So I think we'll just say it. So you can enjoy it. We are as well. Number eight. Lads, we spelled it wrong. Number eight is of course Danny Welbeck. <laughs> number nine. Everyone knows number nine. Yeah, Rivaldo. And number ten. Yeah, Man United is famous. And Di Maria. Right. Strong start I mean, actually. Going into uh, going into round two then. We keep the two hundred scores after each round, so it's just gonna take two hundred. Right, number two, the transfer window. Uh, number one, which West Brom player drove to QPR to speed up deadline? Odden Wingy. Peter Odden Wingy. 
the Pawn King, David Gold. What did he mistakenly do when they signed Pedro Obian? Anyone got any answers for that? Nice, mate. Yeah, wrong, he put the different, he put the wrong picture on Twitter. Uh, he put Nelson Mandela. No, I, I'm Bonner. I'm, I'm Bonner. Yeah. Yeah. Very kind of you. Number three, which manager and director saw the husband twice? Aaron Brady. <laughs> Which player did Florentino Perez scowl at when they loaned him from West Ham in 2009? Anyone got a shout for this? Shout for it. What was that? Yeah, nice mate. Yes, did. Yes, did. Julian Flaubert. Number five. Which four Danish midfielder went to Everton? This one gave Yeah. Thomas Gramson. Uh, number six, Chelsea hijacked the signing of which troll haired player from Spurs in 2013? That was William. Um, the three terrible West Ham strikers, McCarthy, Elan, and Mido, which was the only one to score. That's pretty much just a guess at that moment, isn't it? Right, so the answer is Elan. What purple object was thrust into the ear of Sky Sports reporter Alan Irvin outside Everton's training room? <laughs> big old dildo. <laughs> so, I'll only accept big old dildo. <laughs> Number nine. Uh, what club did Zatan sign for after being photographed in a passionate embrace with PK? Uh, yeah, should, uh, yeah, I thought it was as well. AC Milan. Uh, number 10. Which player miss, missed two flights from Southampton to Manchester to confirm a transfer to Man City in 2008? Benjani Mawari Wari. All right, round three, the Euros. Which nation won the first European Championship? That was the, yeah, I thought that as well, the Soviet Union. And, and number two, where was that tournament held? Someone should say France. Nice, France. <laughs> Think of the players as so really union with the bad <laughs> Number three. What nation replaced Yugoslavia in 1992? Because of the old war and that. Denmark, yeah. Uh, number four. Which player scored the winning goal for Greece in 2004 finals? Aristeas, yeah. Angelos. <laughs> and who scored the first ever golden goal in the European Championship? Uh, that was uh, Oliver Bierhoff against the Czech Republic. Number six. Which balding failed football manager and BBC pundit was top scorer at Euro 96? Obviously, uh, Alan Shearer for that. Failed pundit. Failed manager. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, yeah. Number seven. Who was the last player to score a hat trick in, at the Europa, uh, the, 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 European finals? Hat trick in the European finals. Anyone got a shout on that? In the Euros! <laughs> uh, it was David Villa. Oh, you said it! Do you know what it's only been like, I think it's five hat tricks in the Euros in its entirety. And, it, and that's not the final, you mean the actual final. Yeah, the whole tournament. Since it started, it's five hat tricks. David Villa's got the I think how long ago that was. Uh, number eight. It's a gamble. Uh, Euro 2020 will be held in 12 countries with three beginning with R. Please name one country of those. 
Anyway, any of the three, Republic of Ireland, Russia, and Romania. No? Did you get one of those? Who joined Stuart Pearce and Gareth Southgate in Pizza Hut to have a good old cry after year 96? Yeah, Chris Waddle. Or, or Waddell. Uh, number 10. In uh, 19, Euro 1980, Italy introduced the competitors' first mascot. What was the mascot? If anyone saw this, that's five points. It wasn't Ben Foster, of course. Uh, the little chap's name was Pinocchio. Oh. Yeah. World Cup round. Question one. Bold sweetheart Fabian Bartes jointly holds the record for most clean sheets kept in World Cup history with 10. Can you name the player he holds the record with? Peter Shilton. Peter Shilton has kept 10 clean sheets at World Cup tournaments. That's mad. That is mad. Right, question. Question two. In 2010, the French squad rebelled against then Stir manager Ramon Domenech after he expelled a player who had told him to go fuck yourself, you son of a whore, at half time during their previous game. Who was the player that was expelled? It was Nicolas Anelka. And then all the players ran on strike and refused to play for Domenech. And got knocked out of the groups. Yeah, and look at them now. Right, where was the first ever World Cup held? Uruguay. Which team has both won and lost World Cup finals by three clear goals? Brazil. So they, they beat Sweden 5-2 in 58 and Italy 4-1 in 1970 and they also lost to France 3-0 in 98. Which European team became the first side to win a final outside of Europe? Spain. Spain. Oh, Spain. South Africa 2010. <laughs> question six. Question six. Uh, who's the only player to play in three consecutive World Cup finals? That is Cafu. Cafu, 94, 98, 2002. Mr. Cafu. When two lost it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Number seven. In March 1966. Jules Rim. Remet Cup. Jules Remet. Jules Remet. Yeah. I was stolen, but it was later found by a dog. Name that dog. It is Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> Useless knowledge, man. Pickles. It's Pickles, man. Yeah. Pickles. When we were screaming about he went. He was on every win. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That when he went Pickles. Straight away. I was like, I'm down. Pickles. Who told Mick McGuinness to stick it up your box in 2002 finals? It is Mr. Roy Keane, obviously. Roy Keane. Roy Keane. Many the name of Roy Keane Labrador. Number. <laughs> <laughs> then he went walking. Yeah. Number nine, in the quarterfinals 2006 FIFA World Cup, referee uh, Lizando Salah Wayne Rooney in the 62nd minute. Oh, it's a long question now, I mean. Following that instant, sheer remark, I think there's every chance we really will go yeah, back to training right. and stick one on him. Who was that player he was referring to? It is Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronnie, Cristiano Ronaldo. Wink Gate. That was Wink Gate. It's a long way of question, now, to be honest. With you. It is. Number 10, last one. Uh, what year was the first World Cup held? 1930. Oh. 
Nameless Spurs player who said, morning tweets. Yesterday I watched the Paranormal Activity 3 and today I'm going to put it in the bin. Too scary to watch. It was Victor Wanyama. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, you said it a bit. You said it. Victor Wanyama is the best footballer to follow on Twitter. Did, did you, yeah. did you draw He's gold. <laughs> right. Number three, which current Derby left back said, ha ha ha, well done, at FA, I lied, did I? Hashtag bunch of twats, it was Ashley Cole. Somebody lost the other answers, there we go. Question number four, what crisp obsessed presenter said, Soldado makes me realise I wasn't that shit, Gary Lineker. Number five, who said, do I want to go to Hull City? No. Do I want to go to Stoke? No. Do I want to go to Sunderland? Yes. So stop fucking around, Lee. That was Darren Bent. <laughs> Blow up ball bothering Darren Bent. Uh, which missile launching midfielder said happy birthday to the greatest entertainer of our time at Robbie Williams? Hashtag legend, it was Tony Kroos. <laughs> Kroos missile. Number seven, name the ex Fulham French striker to say take a tomato and put sugar on it. Taste it if you never tried, it tastes like strawberry. I want to try it with Louis Saha. Yes. <laughs> Louis coming in handy. Question eight, which former Canary said massive three points today. We were really solid. Great shift from all of us. Thanks for the support. Hashtag clean shit. Basson. <laughs> Ball of an area. <laughs> Which Manchester United legend tweeted, I'll put you asleep in 10 seconds, you little girl. Don't say stuff and not follow up on it. I'll be waiting. Wayne Rooney. Imagine that man being the top goal scorer of a club like Man United. <laughs> what an absolute joke. Um, which Spurs midfielder tweeted, Microsoft bought Skype for 8.5 billion, LOL, idiots. They could have downloaded it for free, it was Delhi Ali. There is some consternation in the back of Delhi Ali being mentioned. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Right, this is <laughs> players on their holiday and pre season antics. Round six, right, Don Hutchinson got in trouble with then Liverpool manager Roy Evans for being photographed on his summer holiday placing a label from a well-known beer over a sensitive part of his anatomy. What brand of beer did the label belong to? Budweiser. We realise it's not very football related. It's, it's got a football in it and a manager, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> Which Premier League footballer tweeted a photo of him feeding giraffes with the caption, Summer for me is about spending time with the family. It's Peter Crouch. Ex or current? Is he still at Burnley? I don't know if they kept him on for another season, did they? Right, anyway. Um, in 1996, four England players were pictured out drinking and taking part in the infamous dentist chair. Three of those players were Paul Gasco, Teddy Sharing, and Stephen Manaman. Name the fourth. Can anyone actually name the fourth? Anyone want to guess? Darren Anderson. Darren Anderson. Darren Anderson. There was a joke about Darren Anderson. No, I don't think in the current part. I can tell. I'm not like my No, I'll tell you after. <laughs> Uh, me too, I can't. I think the Sears took the place of what? Which goalkeeper in the Spain 2002 World Cup squad after he dropped a bottle of aftershave on his foot, therefore ruling himself out of the tournament? Santiago Panazeres. That's a shout. Right, what were three Leicester City players sacked for after completing the 2015 pre season tour of Thailand? I will accept, right, racist sex orgy is what we're, we're looking for. Will we accept sex orgy? Yes. Will we accept racist orgy? Yes. Or just orgy? We'll accept 
because they didn't want to be at the club, it was Darren Gibson. Darren Gibson also said that while he was being filmed for Sunderland's documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it all the better. And he was hammered. Um, number seven, yeah. Ross McCormack. <laughs> Ross McCormack was pictured lying naked on the sofa. <laughs> Ross McCormack also spent the year on loan, and when Villa got promoted, his wages went up by £80,000 or something like that. He wasn't even at the club. Um, right, next question was number nine. Which firework loving maverick turned up for pre season training at Nice, three stone heavier than the club had asked him to be? Why with him? Mario Balotelli. <laughs> Why always him? Jones. <laughs> 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 uh, number ten. Which injury prone ex Arsenal footballer was photographed smoking at a post World Cup pool party in Las Vegas? It's Jack Wilshire. Jack Wilshire.